Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, or good night. Whenever you are watching this video, welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura Gonzalez. My name is Laura Gonzalez, and I am here welcoming you to this Coffee Break, uh, Wednesday, June 3rd. Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura, June 3rd uh, at noon, June 3rd at noon, uh, here in Chicago. For those who don't know, I'm in Chicago, and uh, we just saw such beautiful things here in Chicago, demonstrations with uh, brown people for Black Lives Matter. Uh, don't believe the hype, don't believe the media, don't believe that divisiveness that they are reporting everywhere. Brown people are for Black Lives Matter. Yes, we are. Yes, we are for Black Lives Matter. And uh, we are united, black and brown. And without further ado, today we are going to do oracles. Wednesdays we do oracles. And I have the Celebration of Love Oracle. Celebration of Love Oracle. I have the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, the four agreements, and dun, 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 I have a new oracle. This is by my namesake, Laura Tempest Sakharov, and is called the Liminal Spirits Oracle. It's brand new. It is brand new. I've never used it before. I'm just going to use it like right now. So we are going to check the oracles for today. And um, these are all new cards, the liminal space. They are all creations by Laura. Look at that toad. And not only the front of the deck is pretty cool, but the back is also like trippy and ooh, it's pretty cool. So we're going to use the liminal space oracle. But first, I want to begin with the Celebration of Love Oracle. Hi, Cass. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Lourdes. Thank you for joining. To remind you all that I'm still doing online readings at a discounted price. And I'm also doing um, Reiki healing at a discounted price online. Okay, let's see what the... Let's see what the divine wants us to see on this celebration of love oracle. And we have passion, the angel of light. Passion, the angel of light. And yeah, Cass, I just got it um, two days ago, I think, came in the mail. And I'm getting ready to use it for the first time, so... Okay, the message from Passion, the Angel of Life, the Angel of Light, I'm sorry. It reads, you are being inspired to open your heart even wider. Little petty nuances, irritations, and negative ne negativities pinch off the flow of your incredible loving energy. Let go of the stuff and shine like a being of light that you truly are. Nice message. You are being inspired to open your heart even wider. Little petty nuances, irritations, and neg negativities pinch off the flow of your incredible love and energy. Let go of that stuff and shine like the being of light that you truly are. So, no petty stuff, please. No petty stuff. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, let's see what the Four Agreements Oracle has for us. And you know I love the four agreements because is the knowledge of our people, the Mexican people. What well, you know as Aztecs, the Mexica Tenochca or the Tolteca culture, and that's where this wisdom comes from. So let's see what the Divine Mother wants us to see. And it reads, express your own divinity. How similar is this to the one of the light? Oh my God, they are so similar. Okay, so it reads, you don't need 
the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you, and you express your own divinity being alive and by loving yourself and others. This is beautiful. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you, and you express your own divinity by being alive and by loving yourself and others. And in the four greater wisdom words that exist, you do you, boo. Hi, Cassandra. And ooh, all of a sudden I have all these uh, messages. Hi, Amy. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you for being here today. And dun, 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 dun. we are unveiling, and for the first time shuffling, the liminal spirits, the gateway to liminal spirits by Laura Tempest Akroff. Uh, the card stock paper is pretty good. They shuffle real nice. They're big. They're big. So you have to, uh, you know, widen your hands to shuffle it. Look. Uh, where is it? This looks like my tattoo. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's see what the gateway to the liminal spirits has for us today. I get excited when I see so many people watching. It's really cool to know that I'm not talking to myself like a crazy person. All right, where are you all watching from? Where you all come from? Are you in Chicago? Are you in the Midwest? Are you in New York? Are you in Arizona? Where are you? All right. The gateway to the liminal spirits may the divine God is let us see what needs to be seen. And we got the cedar. We got the cedar card. And I really like what Laura did with this uh, cards because she gives an explanation. And then she gives the, um, oh my God, are they not in order? Come on now. Oh, they're not in order. Mm. Okay, so I have to look at it. 57, page 57. She wrote um, the description and then she's got the little messages there. So they're pretty much um, easy to read, easy, easy to work with parts. So it says here, messages. Analyze your foundation. Is it solid and strong or unstable and prone to decay and falling apart over time? Scent is a powerful thing. It is invisible, yet a smell can affect your mental and emotional state. Conjure up all memories and give deeper layer of atmosphere to a room. Cedar reminds us that sense is a scent is a simple yet wondrous tool to use for our workings. Even if you are feeling alone, there is a legion of ancestors and spirits around you. Have faith in yourself, muster up some courage, and cleanse away those fears. The booklet is pretty cool, and the booklet also comes in color, which is not something you see quite often with this uh, oracle. So then she's got a section for notes. So I'm going to read this back very quickly. Analyze your foundation. It is solid and strong or unstable and prone to decay and falling apart over time. Scent is a powerful thing. It is invisible, yet a smell can affect our mental and emotional state, conjure up old memories, and give deeper layer of atmosphere to a room. Cedar reminds us that scent is simple yet wondrous tool to use for our workings. Even if you are feeling alone, there is a legion of ancestors and spirits around you. Have faith in yourself and muster up some courage and cleanse away those fears. Thank you all for watching. We have a lot of messages today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And um, see you all Friday with learning the tarot card for the week. And until then, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye, IGTV. And to all my friends that connected here on Facebook Live today, thank you so much for watching. See you Friday with the tarot card for the week. Never forget that you're loved. Bye-bye.